we're going to be covering goat breeds. So here we have a few different links to give you some information about uh, our goats. We have a uh, breed standards website. It's going to also provide some specific details about some of the breeds we're actually going to be talking about today. And then a link to a PDF document from the USDA for your goat cut. So goat is definitely a very popular uh, meat source around the world. Uh, so if you're interested in learning a little bit more about choosing the best goat carcass, uh, that link to the USDA is going to help you with that. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and set up my notebook. I've got ID notes, goat breeds. We're going to look at the name of the breed, characteristics of the species, and then its use. And of course, name date session, top right hand side of my notes. So I'm going to go into my Quizlet set. The first goat we're going to talk about is the alpine goat. So the alpine goat is a dairy goat. Its face is straight. It has a Roman nose. Tag in for color and markings, or it'll be all white. Uh, mature females are not less than 30 inches at the withers. Remember, those withers are the shoulders, and they should weigh less than 135 pounds, where males are going to be larger, uh, taller, at 34 to 40 inches at the withers and no less than 170 pounds. Uh, so that Roman nose, here's our alpine goat, that Roman nose has a slight curve up. So there's really not a very clear definition versus our dogs between their nose and their forehead, right? That face. Um, so the Roman nose is slightly curved up. So it's a bit straighter. This is your Toggenberg color. And I can see the haunches or that back end is sticking out um, pretty pronounced. Uh, that's going to be indicative of those dairy breeds similar to our cows when you're looking at that. So this is an alpine goat. Next, we have our Nubian goats. Many of you have seen Nubian goats and interacted with them. Uh, these are the goats that we generally see in petting zoos. Um, if you remember going to Brookfield Zoo a long time ago, um, when they had their petting zoo, they had Nubian goats. Uh, so uses there an all-purpose goat, which makes them great to raise uh, because you can use them for milk, for meat, also for their hide to make different leather goods from. Uh, they have a very long pendulous ears that hang close to the head. They have that Roman nose. They have very short hair. Um, the eyes and muzzles are going to be convex. So that means that they're coming out that portion where they are, right? It's going to kind of pop out a little bit to you. They do come in a variety of colors. So you're going to want to pay close attention to the ears when we're looking at Nubian goats. Uh, so here is our Nubian goat right there. So we can see those pendulum of ears. Uh, they almost make a bell. So think about a bell when we're thinking of our Nubians. Um, nice and tall stature. Again, that Roman nose or that um, nose that kind of sticks out on the top of the bridge just a little bit. And then those eyes are pretty pronounced as well. Next, we have an Angora. So I should now be able to see Angora and know that it is going to be a goat for wool. Uh, so this is when we get uh, the hair from the goat, we call it mohair. It's going to be softer than the hair that we're able to actually uh, harvest from sheep. Both sexes are horned, uh, so males' horns can actually reach up to two feet, uh, while the females' horns are going to be shorter and they're going to have a maximum length, generally uh, less than 10 inches. They hit their maximum weight at five years of age, so, so they're still growing until they're five years old. Uh, your males are going to be anywhere from 180 to 225 pounds. Your females are going to be anywhere from 70 to 110 pounds. So here is our Angora, right? so our shaggy goat. Um, there's those horns right there, and then we would just go in and shear that for their mohair. All right, the next goat is the boar goat. 
Uh, the boar, not a boar, uh, but you may want to think of wild pigs uh, because we use this goat for meat. Uh, they are a horned breed with lot ears. Males are going to weigh in at 240 to 300 pounds. Females 200 to 225. So you definitely can tell why we are going to have meat from these goats. Now, your goats with those horns, uh, we generally do cauterize or remove the horns when they are born if we are going to be utilizing those goats uh, close and interacting with people. So when you guys did go to the children's zoos or the petting zoos, generally don't have goats with horns so we can minimize uh, risk of the injury when we are headbutted by the goats. Um, so we can really see this boar goat is got a very nice muscular feature, right? So that's all that meat. We can see the outlining there um, and that depth of flesh. And here's our lap ears. So I'm really going to pay attention to even those haunches, right? They're not sticking out. They're not very pronounced. They're covered in meat. So that's how I'm going to be able to identify that boar goat. Next, we have La Mancha. La Mancha might be one of my favorite goats, mainly because I, Mancha is just exciting to say. Uh, mancha means uh, stain or spot in Spanish. So I want us to remember that when we look at a La Mancha goat, because they do not have any external ear. So they don't have an ear pinna. Uh, so you can think of mancha being spot, so they have just a spot for where their ears are. Uh, they are a dairy goat. Their face is straight. Uh, they are no greater than two inches if those ears exist at all, but breed standard, they shouldn't have any. Uh, their hair is very, very short, fine, and glossy. So here is the mancha. Uh, so you can see hardly nothing right there little ear nubbins then we have a sign a sanin uh the sanin is a dairy goat as well it's going to be light or white cream colored uh, small spots will be tolerated in their breed standard but it is not the preference of their coat uh, face should be straight or dished. So this would be opposite of that Roman nose because dished is going to be uh, concave. Okay, so it's going to go in. So here we have nice all white. You can see more pronounced snout right there. Okay, so that is your sign. Last goat we're going to talk about is the Toggenberg. Uh, Toggenberg are dairy goats. They are the oldest known dairy breed of goat. They're about a medium size with the females weighing in at about 120 pounds. Hair is short to medium length. They do have very distinct markings that we're going to see on their legs and face. So they've got white stripes down their face from above each eye down to throughout the muzzle. And then their hind legs are going to be white from the hocks to the hooves or from those knees. Okay. So here we have the Toggenberg. So we have that white line. And then if I look right back here, even um, to the same goat, you have that white line, uh, that white fur, and then that back, I can see that back leg even better, okay? So white from the haunches down. Those are your Toggenbergs. And those are our goats.